The nuclear arms race shapes the dynamics of the Cold War. The destructive force of nuclear technology is not the only reason why it attracts the military's attention. The enormous amounts of energy it releases makes it a perfect fuel. The nuclear submarine fleets of the superpowers are some of the most prestigious objects of the Cold War. The USSR has the largest fleet by far. During the height of the Cold War, around one-fifth of the world's nuclear reactors are used by the submarines of the notorious Northern Fleet. The dangers they hold are top secret, until a former submarine officer goes public. Alexander Nikitin was a chief engineer on a Soviet nuclear submarine. In 1994, he helped prepare a report on an environmental catastrophe in the North. He was arrested and tried as a traitor. The judge said, I am the judge. That is the defense lawyer, and that is the criminal. And he is going to prison. He said this immediately after my arrest. Until then, no one had dared to talk about the Soviet Union's shocking environmental neglect. Nikitin's report described one of the largest nuclear waste scandals in history. During the Cold War, seven new nuclear submarines are launched on average per year. The fuel rods have to be replaced at regular intervals. This creates toxic waste. Over 10 years, a single submarine generates up to 200 cubic meters of radioactive waste. Some of that ends up in the ocean. That was the usual procedure. When I served on submarines, Russia had yet to sign any treaties banning the dumping of radioactive waste in oceans and seas. Everyone was fine with that. No one objected when we dumped radioactive waste in the Kara Sea. No one knows how much radioactive material was discharged in the ocean. No records were kept. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, much of the fleet was decommissioned and scrapped. No one knew what was supposed to happen to the submarines once they were scrapped. No one had thought there'd ever come a time when the ships had to be scrapped. There were no documents, no regulations. I personally wrote the first guidelines for disposing of a nuclear reactor. His case was of signal importance. In 2000, after multiple appeals on the part of the prosecution, he became the first and so far only person in Russia to be fully acquitted of charges brought by the FSB, Russia's state security service. Nikitin continued his investigative work from Norway, which in the north borders Kola Peninsula, the home of the Russian Northern Fleet. Only 20 kilometers away from Russia's border with Norway is the top secret Andreeva Bay. No one knows how contaminated the site really is and how much radioactive material has leaked into the ground. Radioactive containers have stood open here for decades. We believe that Andreeva Bay, where spent nuclear fuel is stored, is the most dangerous nuclear waste disposal site in the world. It's a time bomb just waiting to go off. 